to be on the start line and to show ourselves. I don't have like really words for it. It's like it's really amazing. Kind of a dream come true. Get ready, go to Paris. Je veux dire que je vais faire le premier tour de France Femme et c'est quelque chose de grandiose. When I heard it the first time, I straight away thought, ah, it's not for me. But then I saw the course and I was like, oh, actually, I think I can do be a really good asset for the team. Especially Chance Lise is, is one of the things that I always wanted to do. I got more excited about it throughout the year and really made a goal of it. As a child growing up or like in school, people were always like, if, you, if you, they know you're a cyclist, it's like, ah, oh, do you, have you ridden the tour? As a woman, it was always like, ah. Oh, no, we don't have one, maybe one day. Some part of me still doesn't really feel real. I think until we're in Paris, then it will feel real with all the crowds. But yeah, it's super special. I look all the time the Tour to see if it's really grandiose. It's the event, I think, an incontournable summer. Even now with the reckoning, I think we have so many people that are like, oh, Tour de France, you're going to the Tour de France. And they're so excited to, to get it in their town. And, we are been in some cities that's been like all decorated for the Tour de France. It's just for us, so it's very special. Ça parle à tout le monde le Tour et aussi à Esso a envie de faire les choses en grand. Donc, donc c'est sûr que c'est un événement j'ai envie de dire à ne pas rater en tant que structure féminine. C'est jamais simple de faire une sélection. Elles savent aussi ce qu'il en est. Je pense que ça va aussi motiver pour les années prochaines, les futures, les jeunes qui sont là et qui voient que qui voit que les filles sont autour. Je pense que ça peut que, que élever le niveau du, du groupe. Ça fait partie du sport. From now till the start of the tour, I think the main thing for me is uh, get on top shape again. Because I've been a bit ill, but I'm working on it and I think it's getting better every day. And then make sure I get one more week of full gas training in uh, to really be in top shape at the moment that we start the tour. I think over all the parkours again. Like really getting to know the details and yeah, I think that's all that's left to do really. Staying healthy obviously, like COVID seems to be everywhere again, so just being maybe a bit more cautious on that. You forget about it and then recently with it all coming back, it's like, well, it's really still here. Yeah, trying to live with it, I guess. <laughs> Stay in the mountain on my own somewhere. We really value Mavic and the partnership that we have. The product is really top level. All the riders love the product. The expertise that Mavic have with such a historic company. On a les SLR32 qui sont les roues que les filles ont roulé toute la saison. C'est le haut de gamme chez nous aujourd'hui. Quand je parle de compromis, c'est une roue qui a une très bonne rigidité et qui permet et de faire des étapes en bosse, mais aussi d'aller jouer sur les pavés en début de saison pour les classiques. La dernière paire de roues, là, c'est vraiment la cerise sur le gâteau, j'ai envie de dire. C'est la Cosmic Ultimate qui est notre modèle haut de gamme chez Mavic. La particularité de ce modèle-là, c'est que la Cosmic Ultimate devient tubeless et en plus devient aussi un produit 100% made in Nancy puisqu'il sera conçu dans nos ateliers à Chavano. On a vraiment un produit qui est inégalé et avec lequel on va pouvoir aller chercher pas mal de performances. The, the best product for Mavic for the moment. The Nobody has already ride that, so you will be the first one. This is full carbon. Uh, you have uh, less inertia, a lot of stiffness regarding this wheel. Yeah, they're really nice actually. Feel fast on the downhill. They just feel super like responsive. For sure lighter. I mean, it helps on a day like today. <laughs> Every little weight difference will help. <laughs> Après, ça s'emmène bien, je trouve. C'est vraiment agréable. Ouais, c'est vraiment plus léger. Après, c'est ouais. en danseuse, je pense que sur les relances. Mais tu le sens beaucoup mieux. En fait. C'est plus nerveux. The parkour of Tour de France, the fam is like nice. <laughs>
but really hard. It's really nice we start like the first day is the last day of the men. I really like to do recons because you take like mental stops in your mind. Every time that we did a recon, we were like, oh, that's a bit harder than we expected, which is good because then we can ex we know what to expect. Mentally in your head when you're in the stage, then you're like, okay, it's hard now, but it's only hard for like until this point. And then when I get there, it's easier. And... Le départ, du coup, ce sera un peu plus pour les sprints et euh, bonne chose au milieu, et puis vraiment les grimpeuses qui s'exprimeront sur la fin du tour. Well, the first day is the Champs Elysees for gas crit racing, especially with a uh, yellow jersey on the line. So that's going to make it extra special and extra hard also. I think maybe some teams have something special uh, up their sleeve. The second one, it's a little bit more flat, but also possibilities for echelons, uh, a bit more open, so. Uh, one boy, one girl. Ah, uh, look at you. Oh, one more. Oh. What's the noise? <laughs> we did the recon of stage five. It's nice, like you have like the uphill and then it's like mostly going downhill, a bit more technical. Stage six is like between easier and very hard all the time, like up, down, up, down, final lap that will like decide who will win the race. The last two days being the, the hardest. I, re I really enjoyed the Petit Ballon. Good pronunciation. The idea was really to reproduce a bit this type of effort. 30 minutes, the intensity is high, to habituate the body to all that. Nico, come on. <laughs> I think being a part already of to the France fans is really nice for the team. So for sure you need to have ambition. I think we also really have like stages that fit the team. Le général, on faut pas se cacher, ça risque d'être très compliqué pour nous, mais nous on a une équipe offensive qui émettra l'attaque. Voilà, le rêve ultime, c'est sûr, c'est de gagner une étape, mais je pense que les filles, elles sont motivées pour ça, elles en ont envie. On n'aura pas de complexe sur le tour, on ira vraiment au charbon et, et à faire la course. If we come like with the best of ourselves in shape, but also like having trust in the other girls of the team, I think then we can like have some nice races. For the team, it's gonna be a bit of a guest still, close to a jersey or get a jersey. That would be amazing. We'll try for GC, of course, and then we have some really good climbers here that that are able to do that. So I think that's uh, for sure a really good possibility. The last three and a half. 4K a bit uh, steeper, but uh, yeah, around 4-5% average. Do I have personal ambitions for this tour? Being happy every day on the bike. <laughs> Win on the Champs-Élysées. <laughs> Gagne une étape. Tu m'attends, mais moi, moi, je sais être là et je sais répondre présent. J'ai une revanche à prendre, donc euh, je vais arriver. Je pense avec le coup de temps entre les dents sur le tour. <laughs> if you keep believing in yourself, then you will have also some results. It's a very special atmosphere and everyone knows it, so also for us it's very different than any other race. You can make history.